everybody welcome back to another video and today is a glorious day in West Kerry and happy St. Patrick's Day I'm not gonna lie I would love to be sat somewhere in a beer garden or a pub drinking a pint on a glorious day like today don't get me wrong I would I'm only gonna mention this once but Covid is just a disaster for us all but look we gotta all get through it and there is light at the end of the tunnel so anyway I'm taking back to today's bus brand some fertilizer and I'll just rise up the bike and if you can see I have a bike and wagtail I'll get out in a minute and show you around with a top extension take a ton it has about 10 years it's our in you know what I'll tell you what we bought our first fertilizer sweater in 1968. We've only had three since then. One Viking, one Cosmo, and this Viking. The Cosmo, a few of my friends have Cosmos, and it's gonna say, complete disaster, never again. I don't know, it was just like, I'm not sure what they were thinking when they made that spreader. I don't know, it was just, it had a massive bowl and everything. You put nearly two bags into it like, but it was just a disaster of a spreader. If anyone has Cosmos, let me know what you think, but for me, for us, we put four, in, in eight years, we put four sets of bearings in it, and my dad, we were very good to grease mine things, we put four sets of bearings in it, two spouts, because they just wore off, um, and even the new bearings, it was like a machine gun. You could literally hear it, if you went to Dingle spreading fertilizer, you could hear it from here. That's that's a massive over-exaggeration, but I'm using that as my excuse. It was just, I would hear and you'd be spreading like the bike was like a sewing machine. No, you can't praise anything, but even our old bike and the five bag, that, that was 40 years old, it was like a sewing machine. It just simmers away, no problem. The Am Amazon, there was better than Amazon. The Cosmo was like, you just hear it bang 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 it just made no sense like it was like i think people thought there was a shooting contest going on next door because it was just a nightmare so the last time my dad wanted to do, my dad wanted to do the bearings in it for the last time and he was so sick of it he the bottom of the plate the bottom plate underneath the bearings fell out rusted was rust rusted with rust and my father just said tell him with this and he just went in and bought a brand new bike and 15 bag at the time and yes, look, we have no back sense. Hydraulic shut off and all of that. We have no back sense. So I have a top on it this year. It's just, just so I can take a ton. But yeah, that's my. If anyone has any recommendations on fertilizer spreaders, uh, you know, I don't. I think the bike's gonna might gonna keep this one for a long time. I think I don't think I need one. Like, but, you know, if I can take a ton, I'm happy enough. I don't think I need to take any more than that. But that's probably the most I'd ever be taking. Anyway, do you know, at the end of the day, I don't think I'll be taking any more than that. It's a pretty good spreader, like, I can't really fault it. Do you know, it's gone really well for us. Really well, do you know. So, can't fault. Anyway, I spent on the old farm today. I'm going to get that done. I have, oh, I suppose 30 acres to spread today. I'd take four ton bags. I'm just spreading um, this nitrogen on because I got plenty of slurry since so nitrogen's been doing the job. So, I'm going to get the drone up and I'm going to fill the spreader with an I-100 next so here, an I-100 next to here. So, I'm going to do that and we'll try and get up the way and try and finish up early tonight. Might even have a drink tonight. I think I will. It's a hazardous day. Might as well. So, I'll get that. I'll get the drone up now and I'm going to get the I-100 up to the bags and up the sweater and we'll get going. Take me away. I will live my life like this is my last day. Take me away. Take me away. I am aiming for the stars because I can stay. Take me away. I've been dreaming of oceans, places where nothing's broken. So far away. I've been over the mountains, beyond rivers and deep ends I'm on my way Don't slow me down Tell me where the love is, tell me where to find it I've been holding on To something that I should have left long ago Take me away I will live my life like this is my last day Take me away Take me away I am aiming for the stars Cause I can stay 
Question on my tongue It's probably gonna end up sounding stupid Unless you tell me this is what you want Then we can go, oh, oh, then we can go Cause I like the way we're swaying in the moonlight And we're kissing like we're trying to say goodbye I don't know if it's the drinks But I need you to be mine I Wanna waste another day Tell me can I be your sweet mistake We can watch the ocean fade away Tell me can I be your sweet mistake Tell me can I be your sweet mistake Tomorrow I 
hope there's nothing left inside your cup So we can go, oh, so we That's the first two bags put out That's one of the bags, first ton of burnt light I'm out with the extinction I have to say I've never spread this place this quick <laughs> It's actually unbelievable like You know, the different things that a bag makes like You know, it's time it saves I'm spreading at about two and a half, give or take, two and a half bags to the acre, give or take, like, you know, to the mites, just, just to get it growing, for the cattle, cattle will come back, you know, when it never comes up. It has to be sprayed with a herbicide, though, for ragworts, that's the only thing I have to do, but look, we'll get that done as well. That'll probably be April, because when they start coming, oh my god, nothing will stop them at all. Sheep would stop them, but I don't want, I don't like sheep. I just don't like them at all. Like, I just they're not my favorite they're not my favorite animal. So I'm supposed to see it now really quick. Right. Yeah, anyway, sheep would eat ragwort, but I don't want sheep ever because they're just they seem to get out anywhere. I mean reach an offence they will find their way. Anyway, don't have not my problem. At the moment anyway. Look, um, yeah, spirit's going really well. And I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend, um, Paddy Bar. If he's watching, car coming. Paddy Bar, because he recommended I asked him and he recommended the extension, so thanks Paddy. Much obliged, man is this it? It's doing the job well. So it's really working out well. You know, it's saving me time anyway. That's the main thing. It's all about saving time and you know, if you can do something on a farm that saves time. If you can buy something or make something that saves you time in the long run, then it's worth it, isn't it? Because there's no point in struggling with something. I'd be gone. Something like that six bags, six ton, half ton bags, and like you make six trips. Like, and you can half that, like, you know. I'm not lazy ring, don't get me wrong, but it came for the point where it was taking all day, and you know, it was a long day spent fertilizer back here, like, you know, and one more trip now and I'm done. You know, it's a big, big difference, like, you know. Like, I know people would say, oh, buy a bigger sweater, you can put them all in, then you put four bags into it. And was spread with the 8450 then like to try and lift it like you know so this you can see me out now probably a long time and not forever <laughs> out around the gearbox last the button gave the spreader keep it grease so it'll probably last a long time but, you know so i just get this spread now i'm spread with 6350 at the moment and i probably will from now on because that little light 100 i don't think the ton would suit come back and forth here Maybe, maybe if I fit the front bucket of sand, it might help it. <laughs> but I'm not doing that. You know, so I think 650. It's, it's more comfortable because it has uh, the oil control, the lift height control, and it has the, the smooth ride and the uh, rear linkage, so it's, it's a very smooth ride with the fertilizer and so even empty, you know. Just frame it that way. So I go home now and I'll get there two bags and we'll get that out of the way. That's me done for this video anyway. Um, I suppose there's two runs left. I'll be back here another day. I'll come back now this evening again. It's four to five, my cows and things. You know, I, t I had to, you know, that the four bags, I had to go back again for another bag. I didn't, I didn't film it because it's kind of the same routine again, really. You know, normally it takes about um, 
five and a bit bags, so there's probably enough here for three or four small bags after. But I'll be closing the sides around the first of April, so I might come back in two then. You know. So nice view anyway. Cattle are happy out down there. Have to be sold shopping enough anyway. You know. Anyway, this is the 650. I'm all my belts took the same really, they're not much different than any of them. They're all the same. If anyone was wondering why I was driving. <laughs> They are pretty much the same. They're all the same. You know, I better keep them the same and change, and you can change around parts. So that's the end of the video. Um, I might change a Friday video to a Saturday video. I'll see because it's kind of hard when you're working to get the videos. I might put a better gap between them. So I might go to Saturday. I mightn't if it's, if it's uploaded Friday or Saturday. Take a notice. It might be Saturday mornings now. I might upload them. Okay. That's okay with everyone. I don't think that anyone will have a problem with that. And if they do, well, I don't, there's nothing that I can do about it. So, thanks, like, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see y'all for the Friday, maybe Saturday video. So, thanks, guys. Bye.